Hi there, welcome back to the Dreamkeeper channel. So if you've already subscribed, thanks a lot, really appreciate it. And if you've not subscribed, could you just hit the button? Helps me out, helps the channel out, helps us grow. So this one, this uh, one I'm going to do today is uh, called I Solved Metatron's Cube at 1am and it's another one that involves a late night with my mind racing and uh, just thinking about theories and ideas and like it happens quite a lot to me. Uh, I suppose everybody does it when you're, you're late at night and you kind of get to sleep and you just think about all crazy stuff. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll go into like a wee background about Metatron's Cube first for people that, that don't know too much about it and uh, what I will say as well is it's sort of related to the other video that I've done about uh, like decoding the Great Pyramid in Metatron's Cube so it is, it's all kind of interesting stuff but I'll, I'll read this out because this is just a wee <coughs> background to uh, what uh, Metatron's Cube is <clears throat> so, Metatron's cube is a sacred, a sacred geometric figure composed of 13 circles interconnected by straight lines forming a two-dimensional represent, representation of a three-dimensional shape known as a cube. It is named after the Archangel Metatron and is associated with various spiritual and mystical concepts including the flower of life and the platonic solids. Metatron's cube is often viewed as a symbol of balance, harmony and the interconnectedness of all things in the universe. So balance and harmony is viewed as a, a symbol of balance and harmony so we'll keep that in mind. So eh, I'll set that down so if you imagine, like, if you know what the, the Metatron's cube is, it's like the, almost looks like the, the Starry David, but it's got circles and stuff around it and more lines. Uh, it's also in the thumbnail for this that I've got in the centre of the earth, so that's that's what it looks like. Uh, but this this is uh, it's really interesting because it is it's normally shown as like a two D shape. It's just like flat, drawn out in paper. But if you think a cube, a cube is 3D. So, like, if you imagine, like, that's how it's normally drawn flat, but a cube's 3D. So if you, if you turn that into, like, a 3D shape, then it would be something like that. And it's basically, as it's drawn, it's like a, a six-pointed star. But if you made it a 3D shape, it'd be a 12-pointed star. So, what I'm basically thinking is like it could represent and it could be like a a symbol or it could be like a like a, a blueprint or a, a map of the, the earth's like energy fields and lines. So, what I was thinking, so if you took the, the, the six pointed Metatron's cube shaped star made it 3D and the cube would be 3D then it'd be a 12 pointed star almost like a spiked ball kind of thing and if, if you lined two of the points up with like north and south like the, the magnetic poles of the earth north and south I reckon that one of the other points of the that would be two points of the 12 pointed shape or the 12 pointed star I reckon one of the other points would point to the Great Pyramid at Giza. I reckon one would point to uh, like Easter Island. Maybe one would point to uh, Stonehenge. So I reckon that each of the 12 points would all point to some kind of mysterious monument or mysterious place on Earth. And that's why these monuments like the pyramids and stuff was built. And that's how it's represented in the Star of David with the, you've got the hexagram shape in the middle or hexagon and you've got the, the six pyramids round about it focusing the energy so 
that's basically what I'm saying is I've solved. I might be right, I might be wrong. I don't know, it could, I could, I don't know, you know. There's no to really confirm it, but I think it'd be interesting. So if you made the 2D shape into a 3D shape, you'd have like the cube in the middle. You'd have like the 12, it'd be like a 12 pointed star, like a spiked ball. If you line one point up with north, magnetic north, one with magnetic south, and there's tilted, so it'd be like that. I reckon all the points coming out the star would all point to certain places on Earth that would either have monuments or like it could be like the Bermuda Triangle or, or all kind of places like that. And I reckon that's what it is. It's like a, a geometrical blueprint of the Earth's energy fields and that focusing and harnessing all the energy for these points would rebalance the Earth and that would like I say, like I, like I go on about before, it would bounce all the energy up into the ionosphere or the, the magnetosphere bounce it down. It'd be like free wireless energy. It would heal the Earth's like atmosphere and uh, the magnetosphere and stuff. And it would just, it would like, it'd basically resonate the full Earth. So that that's what I'm thinking is Metatron's cube as a 2D representation. It was actually a 3D blueprint for the Earth's energy fields. Uh, it might be sound quite complicated, but if, if you know stuff about the uh, Metatron's cube and that, it, it does to me, it, it kind of makes sense. And it would fit in with all the pyramids and the monuments and the, like I say, mysterious places on Earth <coughs> kind of thing. Uh, so as I'd like to, to know if anybody knows stuff about Metatron's cube and that, and if, if they think that could be a plausible solution, a plausible theory, kind of uh, what it is. So uh, basically, it would it would be like the free energy. It would heal the the atmosphere and the magnetosphere. It would resonate the full Earth. It would focus all the Earth's energy. And if the ancients knew that, then that's what they would have done to harness like electricity rather than building like burning coal and gas and oil or using nuclear but just talking about nuclear is uh, another thing that I've noticed which is really interesting the, the symbol for the atomic like the atom has actually got a hexagram or hexagon in the middle of it as well like the star of David and the, the center of Metatron's cube so, like, uh, the hexagon or the hexagram represents a cube in 2D form. So, if, uh, like, the atomic symbol is basically that as well. But instead of having, like, pyramids or triangles coming off it, it's got, like, curved loops. And then, obviously, in that, you've got the wee dots. I can't mind what they symbolise. It's, like, neutrons or something. So, that's, like, the atomic symbol. So, it's, like, it's also tied to that. So if you think like the centre of the Earth was like a, because it basically is like a, a nuclear reactor kind of thing, it's got like molten metal and it's it's almost like a wee mini sun and it's got a lot of kind of like different reactions going on in the middle of it and that's what creates like the, the uh, magnetosphere and stuff. So it could also be that like it, it also backs up like what I'm saying it's just obviously that's at an atomic level that symbol Metatron's cube could be at like a planetary level kind of thing and so instead of like you've got the atomic one that represents the atom Metatron's cube is the same but represents the earth and it's showing you the, the fields coming off the, instead of it being looped it's like triangle stuff coming off the, the earth so to me it's, it's really quite interesting uh, I don't know what everybody thinks about it or that but it's definitely plausible you've got you basically take a six pointed 2d shape that represents a 3d shape turn it into a 3d shape so it's like 2d turn it into 3d it turns the six points into 12 you line two of the points up with the, the north and south poles of the earth 
and see where the rest of the points point to. And I reckon they would all point to certain places. It's even quite strange, like when I was creating the, th the thumbnail for it, basically one of the points basically points to the pyramids of Giza. Uh, and I was asking chat GPT as well about like if, if like I was trying to describe it all like what I'm doing here to that and saying like I was asking how, where would all the points line up and how it was saying that it was definitely plausible that they would all point to certain places but you would need a like somebody into it like a, like a, a geologist or an a, like uh, not really sure what you call them but you would need because it'd be quite uh, uh, theoretically, it's quite easy to work out because you just get a model of the, the Earth and you get a 12-pointed Metatron's cube star, put it in the middle and see where the points are lining up. Once you line them up with the North and the South, and you could line one up with the Great Pyramid and that would give you three points. So that would that would turn the, the, the shape into like where it would, it would fit it into where it's supposed to be and see where the points line up. So I don't know if anybody can do that. I don't know if that's easy enough to do, but uh, to me it's definitely plausible. Chat GPT thinks it's plausible. And this is me just thinking at one o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep. And it's, it's one of the crazy things where you just think, ah, again, I think I've, that, that makes sense. And I end up like writing it down and stuff. And uh, and it would make sense where that's all like the the energy points of the earth, that's where all the monuments were built to like focus the energy or even just because people could feel the energy just because like they knew it was a special place like one of the places where you can just feel in the atmosphere you just feel it that there's something special about here so maybe that's what it was that's why they built these places uh, but that's it uh, that's it for this one but again if uh, if you've got any kind of theory or you think I'm right or wrong or it's a lot of nonsense or you think what I'm saying is plausible, just uh, let me know in the comments and uh, we'll see if that's it. Have we solved our Metatron's cube? I think uh, I think we might have. Uh, but we'll need to wait and see. We'll need to see if anybody watches this that could do the math, do the, the sums, make a model, see where it, see if it all lines up. And if it did line up, then I would say that's that. I'd say, like, I solved Metatron's cube at one o'clock in the morning. So, uh, but we'll just need to wait and see whoever see comes across this video. And we could either prove it or disprove it. But it's definitely an interesting theory. Uh, but that's it anyway. So, thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll see you soon.